Hi everybody, Nancy here. I had a question on one of my videos and I don't know how to explain something in just a few words. I have to have a video to show people because, you know, there's not just a yes or no answer to anything. But um, this was, how do you add items to the top toolbar? Now, as you know, I have been working with that top toolbar. I had moved it down to the bottom and I've gotten used to that. So now I'm, I've decided since that was her question, I would go ahead and move it back up to the top and good luck to me to actually be able to find it or find what I'm looking for. Okay, first of all, um, it starts on the documents level. So if I go back out with the little uh, arrow on the left and click on the gear up at the top and click on workspaces um now as you can tell you have the option to have as many workspaces as you want and you can change all kinds of things based on how you know what you want it to do and how you want it to look and you know you might want it one way while you're uh in a class or you might want it a different way when you're doing your home, your journal whatever so but uh, currently, this is the one I'm using. If I click on the, let me go back, workspace. See the I next to 2022 journals? If I click on that I, here's where I can set up. Um, well, heck, I need to show you. Let me go back and show you what I'm going <laughs> to. Heck, just a second. Let me go back to the um uh, original screen so you can see I what I'm doing is telling zoom notes what to put on this screen what to show as tools that are available and I do that back um, where I was so on the gear under workspaces under the eye tools and features and see I put everything I don't turn anything off and um, you know again if you were in class and you only wanted these two pens to ever use in whatever document you write in then this is where you would set it and you would save that workspace you know as your class thing okay so but you notice I have everything turned on because I don't want to miss anything. If I, if, well, there's sound. I, I don't plan on using sound that much. If I decide that I, I do want it, I can always come back here and add it. So that's really the only thing that I don't want on my toolbars. All right, if I go back and look at user interface, top bar, here are the things that, like the tools button, that's the one that, that opens up that menu I showed you. And these are basically the things that are going to show up over on the left side, top left side. You know, the ruler and the settings button and the search button. So you can turn some of those off if you want to. But I want everything. I want to be able to see everything. Sidebar, you can tell it, um, you know things you want to show up on that sidebar so let me go back and again I've turned everything on workspaces back done now if I go back to my document now when I click on those the little hammer and wrench up at the top left here are all the things that I have checked off on that other gear page. Now notice that it's got basic and advanced. Now basic is, is I think, their way of trying to keep it as simple as possible so that you're not overwhelmed by a bunch of stuff when you first uh, start Zoom Notes. And the developer chose what to put on this page now it's a little bit confusing just because i don't know i see advanced and i and i think 
that's what I'm looking at is advanced, but that's not true. That's a link. So if I click on advanced, then see how much more is available here. Now up at the top, there is a lock. If you unlock that, then you can t select anything that's on here and put it onto your toolbar up at the top. It's totally 100% your, your thing. So I'm going to close that down. Now see if you look at my little toolbar up at the top, under each one of those tool buttons is a little tiny black arrow. If I click on any one of those, the little arrow, it opens up that tool uh, menu. And if I unlock it and choose something different, if, let's say I do select PDF text, it will replace, um, well, it didn't either. I've got, oh, it's because, let's see. Uh, okay, there it is. First of all, it activates that function but it also puts it on the toolbar. And if you don't go ahead and go back and lock that thing back up, you'll be changing things that you don't want to necessarily change. You want to kind of fix, and you can change it at all times, but it just gets a little bit frustrating when, when you're looking for something that was always there before and you have changed it. And that's exactly what I did. Now I can't remember what it was. Ah. But anyway, I'll go. I'll figure that out in a minute. All I have to do is watch my video and see what was there. Um, so that's where you get the different functions that go up on that top toolbar. Okay. Now, the selection functions, that is what goes on the favorites toolbar here. So if I select the selection um, thing. See, this is showing the um, selection bar function. So, if I open up that menu, see the selection? All these different operations, see the little icons to the right of each one of the words? That's what's showing up over here on the right, on this toolbar. And, um, I told it to do that. So you have complete control over anything and everything that you see on this screen. And again, I moved the um, toolbar up to the top. Now I'm gonna go back and move it back to where I want it because I don't like it there. So I go to the gear, go to, um, and the reason I don't like it is those three dots up at the top. I keep touching those three dots and, and it, you know, that's a, um, an Apple thing that gives you split screen and things start to move around that I don't want to move around. So I'm going to go to workspaces again, go to the eye. Uh, you know what? That's not where it is. Workspaces back, go to general. See, I have to find it. Every single time I have to find, <laughs> find what I'm looking for. Back. Interface. Yes. Okay. See, down in the middle, main toolbar position. Right now it's set to top of screen. I'm going to change it to bottom of screen. Because that's where I like it. And you can put your... Uh, you can use the side toolbar either on the left or on the right. And you can open it up or close it. You know, it's it is so wonderful the the flexibility that you have. But again, let's let's see um, if I go back, do done, go back to my screen, and it, where's oh see now I've moved it to the bottom. I can't find it. Um, See, see now it's away from those three dots and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna run into those um, where am I looking there was something else I was going to tell you anyway I can't think of it I know what this was 
if I click this, that was the undo undo link. Because when I link to somewhere, I always want to get back. So that's why I want to change that back to undo link. Or link, link undo. Okay, now I need to open it back up and lock it back up. So that won't happen. And, oh, oh, oh I know what it was. Don't forget to... Um, if you want to see a bunch of all the different options, you want to click on the advanced down at the bottom. If, if this is all you're seeing or even less, then I would click on advanced to make sure you're not missing out on something. Okay, that's it. Have a great day. Bye.